How often do you find yourself wishing for more hours in the day? It's a common sentiment, isn't it? The tick-tock of the clock often seems like a relentless taskmaster, leaving us feeling harried and overwhelmed. The struggles of time management are all too familiar, that sinking feeling when you miss a deadline, the rush and stress of trying to catch up, the disappointment when you can't find time for the things you love. It's a juggling act that many of us grapple with daily. The demands of work, personal commitments, and our own interests compete for our attention. And it's not just about getting things done. It's about finding balance, about not feeling like you're always racing against the clock. These struggles are real and frustrating, but they are not insurmountable. With the right approach, time can become your ally rather than your adversary. However, mastering time management can turn these struggles into triumphs. But what exactly is time management? Well, to put it simply, time management is the process of organizing and planning how to divide your time between specific activities. It's about making the most of the 24 hours we each have in a day, enabling us to work smarter, not harder. Think of time as a river. It flows at a constant rate, never speeding up, never slowing down. We can't control the river's flow, but we can control how we navigate it. That's what time management is all about. Steering our day in the direction we want it to go. Time management is more than just business efficiency. It's about our personal life, our leisure time, our productivity, and more. It's about achieving a balance between work and play, ensuring that we lead fulfilling lives while still meeting our responsibilities. So why is time management important? Well, effective time management allows us to accomplish more in a shorter period, which leads to more free time, which lets us take advantage of learning opportunities, lowers our stress, and helps us focus, which leads to more career success. Each benefit of time management improves another aspect of your life. Imagine two artists given the same brief and the same amount of time to complete it. One artist jumps right in, a flurry of activity, but without any clear plan. The other artist spends a little time planning, organizing, and preparing before beginning. In the end, who do you think will have a more complete, well-thought-out piece? That's the power of time management. It's not just about working hard, it's about working smart. It's about ensuring that your time is always serving you rather than the other way around. And beyond the workplace, effective time management can improve your life quality. It can reduce stress, improve your focus and productivity, and even lead to a better work-life balance. Now that we understand time management, it's time to delve into how to master it. The first step in mastering time management is to prioritize. This isn't about just making a list of tasks. It's about discerning which of these tasks hold the most value. It's about identifying what's essential, what's important, and what's merely a distraction. Think about your goals. What tasks will take you closer to achieving them? Those are your high priority tasks. You see, prioritizing is a skill that helps you separate the wheat from the chaff, the vital from the trivial. It's a compass that keeps you focused on your north, your purpose, and the benefits immense. Focusing on high priority tasks increases your productivity, reduces stress, and brings a sense of accomplishment. It empowers you to manage your time effectively, making you the master of your clock, not the other way around. Remember, it's not about being busy, it's about being productive. And productivity starts with prioritizing. Once you've prioritized, you're ready for the next step, planning. With your priorities set, it's time to plan. Now that you've identified what's important, the next step is to map out how to tackle these tasks. This process involves setting timelines, breaking down tasks, and scheduling. Start by setting timelines. Determine when each task needs to be accomplished and work backward from there. This will give you a clear roadmap of when you need to start each task to ensure you meet your deadlines. Next, break down your tasks. Large tasks can often feel overwhelming, but by breaking them down into smaller, manageable pieces, you can tackle them one step at a time. This method also makes it easier to track your progress and stay motivated. Lastly, schedule your tasks. Use a calendar or planner to assign specific times for each task. This not only helps you stay organized, but also ensures that you're dedicating the necessary time to each priority. With a solid plan, you're armed to take on your tasks efficiently. Planning is meaningless without execution. This is where we roll up our sleeves and dive headfirst into the tasks we've laid out. The stage of execution is the proving ground where our strategies and planning get tested in the real world. Firstly, let's tackle the concept of focusing on one task at a time. It's easy to fall into the trap of multitasking in an attempt to get more done. 
However, our brains are not wired to handle multiple tasks simultaneously. Instead, we end up splitting our attention and doing neither task particularly well. So, the first rule of execution is to single task. Concentrate on one task at a time, give it your full attention and you'll find that your efficiency and productivity skyrocket. Next, we must address the elephant in the room, distractions. They can come in many forms, a chatty colleague, a buzzing phone, or even our own wandering minds. The key to managing distractions is to create an environment that minimizes them. This might mean turning off notifications, finding a quiet place to work, or using a tool or app that blocks distracting websites. Remember, out of sight often means out of mind, and this is particularly true when it comes to distractions. Lastly, we can't talk about execution without mentioning discipline. This is the fuel that keeps the engine of execution running. Maintaining discipline isn't always easy, but it's essential. One way to foster discipline is to create routines and habits that support your tasks. This might mean setting aside specific times for focused work or establishing a ritual that signals to your brain that it's time to get down to business. Remember, discipline is like a muscle. It gets stronger with regular use, so don't be discouraged if it's hard at first. Keep at it, and you'll find it gets easier over time. Execution brings your plans to life, but there's still one more step. Review. The journey towards mastering time management isn't over yet. Stay tuned as we discuss the final step. Review. The process that helps us refine our strategies and perfect our approach. The final step in mastering time management is to review. This is the stage where you take a step back and reflect on your performance. It's all about understanding where you've been successful and identifying areas where you can improve. When reviewing, consider the tasks you've completed, the time taken to complete them, and any obstacles that arose. Did you manage to stick to your plan or were there unexpected detours? Learning from your mistakes is a crucial part of this process. If something didn't go as planned, don't beat yourself up. Instead, See it as an opportunity to grow and improve. Analyzing your errors can provide valuable insights that help you make better decisions in the future. Finally, use your review to make necessary adjustments. Tweak your strategies, switch up your priorities, or modify your schedule to better suit your needs. Remember, the goal is to increase productivity and efficiency. With a review, you can refine your time management skills and become even more efficient. So, how do you master time management? Well, it's not as daunting as it may seem. In fact, it's all about taking a systematic approach. Let's recap the four integral steps we've explored today. Prioritize, plan, execute, and review. Firstly, we have the step of prioritization. This is the foundation of effective time management. It involves distinguishing between tasks that are urgent and those that are important. By identifying what truly matters, we can focus our attention and energy where it's needed most. Remember, not everything that screams for your attention is worthy of it. Next comes planning. It's the blueprint for your time. It's about setting realistic goals and breaking them down into manageable tasks. This step involves scheduling your tasks wisely, considering your most productive times, and setting aside blocks of time for different activities. It's not just about filling your calendar. It's about creating a roadmap that guides you toward your goals. Then we have execution. This is where the rubber meets the road. It's about sticking to your plan and tackling your tasks head-on. Effective execution requires discipline and perseverance. It's about resisting the siren call of distractions and staying focused on your tasks. But remember, it's also about maintaining balance. All work and no play isn't just dull, it's counterproductive. Finally, we have the step of review. This is your feedback loop. It's about reflecting on your performance and looking for ways to improve. Did you meet your goals? If not, what obstacles did you encounter? What can you do differently next time? It's about continuous learning and adaptation. Each of these steps is a crucial cog in the time management machine. They are interconnected, each contributing to the overall efficiency and productivity of your day. Prioritize to identify what's important. Plan to create a roadmap for your time. Execute to turn your plans into reality. And review to continuously improve your process. Master these steps and you'll turn time from a foe into a friend.